Good morning. Uh, this morning I'm coming to you from the Comfort Hill JFK International Airport. <clears throat> and we are continuing with our sessions on the PDM, the amazing 5x12, 5x11, 5x12 PDM. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> We want to uh, use this uh, amazing 5x12 uh, matrix in the solution of a uh, circuit analysis problem, electrical, electronic circuit analysis problem, and particularly to solve it by the mesh analysis method. But before we can get to that, we must uh, start off from our First principle, PDM, SLS, DLS uh, process. So let's start off. Uh, we've imposed a projected law or 5 by 12 matrix, and this for this uh, purpose, do a specific 5 by 12. And so here we have HF, O5A33, B, AE790, AE790, 65C and L nine fifty three one seven fifty one nine C And last, LL 0681, 153.5 star, 153.5 star. And actually, this was the actual configuration of this. Uh, 1 by 11, LL, 0, 8, 6, 8, 1, 1, 5, 3, 5, star. So star is here like an alphabet. And we'll treat it as such. And we know that the 12 takes the form of the mid of, it is HFB, the mid is F, and it's F6. AEB, the mid is E, and it's E5. LGC, the mid is G and it's now G7. And LKC, so this one is LK. LKC and the mid is K and it's K11. And LL star, the mid is L, L12. So there we have imposed our 5 by 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This one is the 12. It's usually an isolated uh, matrix, which take the form, uh, say, of over here with our H, F, a B, and the middle of it would be F with some thing attached to it. I do know a method of you know, uh, we're not going to uh, go through a lot of step here for our aim now is not to uh, demonstrate the method, the methodology which 
which is already established, but we are going to be using this uh, multidimensional uh, 5 by 12 matrix to enhance solutions uh, in circuit analysis problems via the matrical mess analysis. So we we'll have to get to that uh, process in the easiest uh, possible way. Nevertheless, uh, after we have apply our methodology, we will come up with we'll use one of the, we're going to get five, uh, say, let's take the HF matrix, the first one, and also we'll have H, say HF, B, I've laterally moved the B over, HFB, and doing the process in here, we get 71939428, 99699, 65, 953, 175, 19, and 0681, 15, 0681, 15, 35. So that was the first step. We uh, reduce this now to this. Uh, one, two, three, four. Since we're working in pairs, which would be uh, a four by four. Or we're working really pairs. But if it's about singularity, it would be a, a one, two, three, or four by eight. And we'll get five of this form of matrix in the methodology. But we're not going to write out the, the whole five of these matrix, uh, which we have done in previous cases. We'll move on to the next step because we are only using one of these five. We will only get five of these uh, time. Uh, so we use the HFB and uh, we we'll, uh, go on to the next step. And we'll get now, from the next step, we'll get now HFB. The first one will be sent to one. And uh, HFB sent to one. We get 0699 6 to 5. 06 And uh, Eighty-one, fifteen, thirty-five. Eighty-one, fifteen, thirty-five. That would be the next step. Just using the HF operator or the HFB operator. <clears throat> now the next step, uh, we could use this from this step to generate our serials or one by eleven serials. But the inexperience. Uh, PDM processor or uh, would further have to reduce this to a two by two. And so I reduce this to a two by two. And what we get now would be H say F B seven to one and say zero six and you get no send to five nineteen. 15, And furthermore, let's generate the two by twos. Uh, instead of generating the zeros, we want uh, the, the specific form of these two by two matrix. Or we we'll use these now as input uh, parameters for our, uh, our circuit analysis problem. And then we'll show you how to uh, solve circuit analysis using the mess, uh, circuit analysis using the matrical uh, 
uh, format to solve it. Okay, so we have HFB71. Uh, <clears throat> we could have the next one being HFB7131. H F B center one turtle one ninety nine sixty five fifteen thirty five. Next one with H F B center one eighty one H F B center one eighty one. And uh, 99, 65, 75, 90. Remember, now, our aim now is not to really to generate the, the, the zeros, one by 11 zeros, the, the SLS, DLS, uh, zeros like sign, dollar zeros like sign, uh, a series of, uh, of zeros. Uh, but here we are using the, the matrix called the two by two paired matrix to solve our circuit analysis problem. And uh, here we have now, we have 81, the next one will be 15, H, F, B, 71, 15. And uh, it will be now 0, 06, 65, 31, 19. And so on. I uh, will use uh, HFB center one seventy five, HFB center one ninety nine, HFB center one sixty five, HFB center one nineteen, HFB center one thirty five. I will get a four other two by twos. Now these two by twos in this format will uh, do some shortcut here for the moment, but since we're going to be using these uh, paired. Uh, numericals we have to start showing you we're going to take the determinant of say let's use the hfb 7106 operator and the corresponding two by two would be that and we will take the determinant say the determinant of 75 19 and 15 35 And let's say now for this, we'll show you all uh, in the circuit analysis problem. Let's say this uh, whole opera operation, we're going to come out with, say, uh, some current uh, uh, unit. We're going to call it amps for the moment. So we just say the determinant of this uh, first one. And what we we'll get now is 75 multiplied by 35. Minus 19 multiplied by 15. And see for the circuit analysis problem, we are, we are going to get some unit in amperes. And that is uh, some easy arithmetic uh, thing. We do, uh, this is not a uh, an exercise in arithmetic, so we want to just go straight to the sum of these answers. Okay, later on we go to some of them. So let's take now the determinant of uh, this one with the HFB seven one thirty one operator. So we have now the determinant of 99.65 and 15.35 and this will give now 99 multiplied by 35 minus 15 multiplied by 65 Let's take now the determinant of uh, the HFB center one eighty one operator, and we get now the determinant 
of Ninety nine sixty five, ninety nine sixty five, seventy five, nineteen. These are just exercises, but we're going to show you directly how I'm going to set up the circuit analysis problem with our Tevinin's voltage and uh, non uh, current, and oh, we're going to use it to solve uh, these uh, circuit analysis problems. Okay, so uh, we'll have known this would be 99 multiplied by 19 minus 65 multiplied by 75. Anybody having a calculator here could uh, come up with the arithmetic uh, 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 solution to those arithmetic problems. And uh, we'll take a determinant of HFB. 7115 operator which is 0665 2190. Uh, so let's have know the determinant of 0665 and 3190. And this equals now to 6 multiplied by 19 minus. 31 multiplied by 65. You could see from the outset that this one will give you a negative answer. And the interpretation then would have been if we assume, for example, if this was a current uh, mesh analysis problem, the answer would be uh, in current. Uh, some will be in voltage, some will be in current. If this would be a current and we get a negative uh, answer, you would assume that. The, 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 the direction of the current would be opposite to the assumed uh, our first proposed direction. So if we have, say, this will definitely be a negative answer here because this is larger than this. So that the, 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 the actual direction of the current would be in the, in the opposite direction to the, to the assumed uh, current. So here we have it. So this is uh, just an uh, outline of how we're going to be using the, these output two by twos uh, to enhance our solution in matrix uh, mesh analysis problem, circuit analysis problem. Remember now that we'll have four more of these two by twos to deal with here. I start at the 15, we'll have HFP 71, 75, 19, which would be give us uh, 75, would give us 0, 06, 65, 81, 25 matrix. So let's uh, take a break here and then we'll come back to uh, later on to actually set up our circuit analysis and, and do. But for the moment, we'll continue to do some exercise in these two by twos. And we'll even have some uh, four by threes and some four by fours.